Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela. Here on this channel, I create beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content, and particularly for the women over 40. Now today's video is all about the NAACP red carpet. NAACP. <laughs> Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and here on this channel, I create beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content, in particular for the women over 40. Now today's video is all about the fashion looks on the NAACP Image Award red carpets. Now I don't have as many looks that really caught my eye as I did um, with the last award show, but I'm gonna give you my take, my favorites, and um, do I have, and I have uh, three. <laughs> Three, three least favorites, only three at this time. So if you like to see what they are, then stay tuned now, let's get started. So the first look that caught my eye is Haley Bailey's look. Of course, she looks stunning in this beautiful, beautiful silk emerald green gown. I love the rose detail on the bust line. I love, it's just not a regular um, sweetheart neckline, but it just has a lot of interest in the way it tapers at the waist and goes out. She has looked stunning on every look she has worn um, over this last award season. I think she looks beautiful. I like how she has just minimal makeup. Her hair is down. The dress is the center of attention and she just looks beautiful. Next, we have Quinta Bronson. This dress is simple but very elegant in my opinion. I love the beading detail on it, how it's not just, the lines aren't just going one way, they're going all sorts of ways. The dress fits her shape perfectly. I love the bust line. I think this dress is beautiful. She has minimal jewelry. I wish she had had a nice little clutch, maybe a pop of color clutch, or it could have been a white clutch just to go with the theme of the dress, a beaded white clutch, a Judith Lieber clutch that would have been perfect. Something that looked like maybe a bird or I don't know, uh, some french fries or a hamburger, something small and dainty that don't fit your phone. <laughs> would have been beautiful with this dress, but she looks stunning. Her makeup is perfect, pure perfection. Next, we have the gorgeous Miss Shirley Ralph. She has been hitting it out of the box at every award show. She looks stunning. I love this color green. I don't even know what you, it reminds me, I know what it looks like. It looks like antifreeze. It looks like antifreeze. It's the same color as antifreeze, but it's gorgeous on her. It's beautiful. I love the beading. I like how the beading stops right below, you know, really like a really, really short mini skirt. And then it's just sheer all the way down. So you're giving the illusion of skin, but it's not. She looks gorgeous. She looks gorgeous. And I know that her daughter, is her stylist, and she has been doing a fantastic job. Cheryl looks healthy, she looks happy, she looks gorgeous. Next, we have Octavia Spencer in a pantsuit, and I love it. I think she looks simple, elegant. I love the beading. Of course, I love the fact that it's black. She does, uh, she's doing a, a straight monochromatic look. Even her purse is black. She looks like she is comfortable and stylish all at the same time. I love this look on her. I think it looks great. Her hair is beautiful. Her makeup is beautiful. She looks fantastic. And I, I know this is simple, but sometimes simple is best. It's simple, but elegant all at the same time. I love this look. Next, we have Notori Nofton in this velour chartreuse, is it chartreuse yellow or chartreuse green? I don't, it's more yellow than a real chartreuse. It, she looks stunning. I love this dress. She looks like an image award. I love the bust line detail. It looks kind of like this on one side, or this on one side, and has a, a rose um, on the other side. I love it. I love the sweepingness of the midsection, and I like how it's fitted and then goes down, just straight down. I love this. I think she looks beautiful. Her hair is beautiful. Her makeup is beautiful. I love, love, love this look. Next, we have June Ambrose. I love, I love this dress. I love how it has a short sleeve on one side and then it's sleeveless on the other side. This looks like an Asa de la Renta dress. I, did, I didn't look and see who made the dress, but I love, I love the fabric. I love the print. I love everything about this look. It just looks so elegant and so, so regal and so feminine. It's, I think it's beautiful. Her hair, um, I probably would have done it a little bit different. I probably would have had it straight back in the back, not so high at the top but she still looks beautiful. Her makeup looks perfect. Just this dress is stunning. Next we have Danielle Pinnock. Oh, 
she looks so amazing her dress looks like it should be a part of the ocean it looks like that was it was inspired by ocean waves and ocean colors although you can see some floral detail in it i love it i think her hair works really well with the dress they have that kind of the same feel there's a lot going on up top and there's a lot going on at the bottom i love the bust line i like how it hits at the waist and then it flows out and it just looks like it has a lot of movement i would have loved to see her actually walking on the red carpet because i'm sure that dress had a lot of movement on it and i love the sleeve the puff sleeves that kind of start here and go all the way down to the wrist i think it works well with the dress because volume on the sleeve and the bottom of the dress has a lot of volume as well and i guess the hair feels like it has volume as well she looks beautiful she gets a 10 out of 10 for me Next we have Pinky Cole and my note says she looks like Little Red Riding Hood in a phenomenal way. I love it. I love the extraness. Now she did it right and the other, the last um, red carpet review I did, this woman had black behind her. It just didn't look good but this is done right. I love, I love how it just comes up off the dress so it just kind of looks like a hood but a backdrop and a cape all at the same time. This color red is beautiful on her skin. I like how she has, has a little bust sticking out in the front. It's fitted all the way down. She looks phenomenal. Next, the look that caught my attention is from on Kelly Callie. Now, I don't know why I love this look so much. I think it's the soft, Sea foamy green is really soft and the dress is completely different than anything I've ever seen on the red carpet. I love the French detail of the cape, the, the detail of the thing that's sitting on the side of her head. I think she looks beautiful. She looks very simple, but she looks very beautiful. This dress looks like it will be a timeless number. I love, I love the stripe detail at the bottom where you can see some of the stripes. You can see a skin through the stripe. I think it's beautiful. I just love 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 this look i love her makeup and her hair works really well with the dress i love everything about it next we have deandre brown in his suit now i rarely have men on here but this suit is impeccable it fits to perfection on him and most of the time i don't like the the not having a shirt on under the suit but he didn't have any hair sticking up and out he just looks clean. I love this look. I love it. I don't, I, I'm shocked that I love it, but I do. I really do. Um, he looks nice and moisturized. He got the moisturization going on in his chest and his face, and he looks very, very well dressed, very well put together. Next, we have my very favorite photo of the night, and it is from Dame, Dameson, Idris, and Guest. Now, it says Guest. It's obviously his mama. Well, we're just gonna assume she's his mama because she's old enough to be his mother. And I love this. I love this for him. I love this for her. I love the kiss that he's giving her on her forehead. I think it, why is it going in? I think it's a very affectionate kiss, and I, it just makes me smile. It makes my heart smile. I love to see, um, People walk the red carpet with their parents. I think I've I don't think I've seen a woman and her father. I've only seen men and their mothers. But I love this. This is my favorite picture of the any of the award shows this entire season. The next look that caught my eye is on Danielle Brooks. She just looks so sophisticated in this simple fitted black gown with the gold cuffs on each arm. There's nothing more to be said. She just looks beautiful. I love it. I love the fit on her. I think she looks stunning. I do. I really do. Next, we have Taraji in the yellow dress with all this beautiful structural detail in the front. It's just stunning. She looks stunning and she looks so happy. This dress looks beautiful on her. I love this soft yellow color. I think this color always looks great on her when I see her with this color on. I, I love the dress. I think it looks stunning. There's nothing else to be said about it. I love it. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. Next, we have Leslie Jones in her black dress. I love the extraness of all the detail on her shoulders. I think she looks very sophisticated, and I'm sure she was happy to have this dress. You know, she, said, she talked about having issues getting dressed for the awards shows, and apparently she's found someone that's, that's able to dress her and dress her well. I think she looks beautiful. I love her hair. I love her makeup. I love this look. Next, we have a dress uh, that I've never seen before. And it's, um, oh, I've never seen anything like it. And it's from Nicole Bahari. And I love the color of it. It just has a very motherland 
feel to it. Very Afrocentric. I love it. I love this dress. I would wear it in a heartbeat. It's a very simple A-line dress, but the print on the dress is just beautiful. Those colors look very, very well together. And I love it. I love the fact that it's different. And I love the fact that she tried it and, and succeeded in the look. I love this look. I just love it. I don't, I don't know where she got this dress. I've never seen anything like this on the red carpet. And I'm here for it. I appreciate the stretch and I appreciate the win for her. Okay, um, let's talk about my three least favorite. And the first one is on Claudia Logan. It, there is so much going on. It looks like um, a costume for the fair. This piece that's going around her head. You know, the, late, the other lady had the red dress on it came out from her dress and went around. It was so classy, it looked so beautiful. This is just too much. Her hair is dark and it's long and this is just big and wrapped around. And the dress looks like it's about this long and she has her whole thigh out and has tattoos down her le leg and the shoes, the, the, none of it works well together. It does not look, that's just my opinion now. That's just me. I don't, I don't like this look for her at all. I would have put her on a color, a much, much softer color. Um, I just, nope. It's gonna be a thumbs down. Zero out of 10 for me, okay? Next, um, next we have this, uh, I don't know what color green, it's a soft seafoam green dress on. Her name is Ray B. I've never, I don't know who she is. I don't like it, it looks like lingerie. It looks like lingerie or a cheap dress from City Trends from Baby Fat that um, I would have probably worn for sure when I was about 21, 22 years old. Would definitely have worn it, without a doubt. Would have worn this dress to the club. I would have cut it off uh, about seven inches above my knee <laughs> and would have worn this to the club proudly too. Um, but at 53, I don't like this dress at all. I don't think it's appealing. I don't think it's beautiful. I it's not sophisticated. I don't, it looks trashy. I don't. Next. Ooh. Um, I love her body of work. I love her acting skills. Um, I think this was um, a major fail. And it, it is my last, then I'm gonna leave. Um, and it is, I think her name is pronounced Ajindu. Uh, and her last name is Ellis. This is the color, it's the color. It is the color. I think this would have worked really well had it been a cream, had it been a white, had it been a black, or maybe even a red. But this, co this color, it looks like an Easter egg. I don't like it. it the, and the blazer is ill-fitting. It, it's, <clears throat> this is my worst, worst, worst look of the um, red carpet. This is the worst red carpet look for the NAACP Awards 2024. I don't like it whatsoever. But she's a, a brilliant actress. Yes, she is. Let me, let me go. Mm -mm. Oh, Lord, no. Well, that's it, family. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you enjoyed it, and I will continue to create these type of videos when the award shows come out. Now, no matter where you are in the world, know that I love you, know that the Lord loves you, and know that I want you to have the most blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.